Hey everyone, hope everybody are doing fine. I have come up with an important information to tell about a fantastic course called a bridge course. See, this bridge course is for the students who have completed their 9th standard and going for the 10th. Due to COVID pandemic, you know, many of the students have got promoted to their 10th level without any examination so that many of them were not uh, perfectly aware of their ninth syllabus, wouldn't have studied perfectly their ninth syllabus as well as previous classes so that uh, they would have been deprived from lots of basics that is very much necessary to understand class 10 science syllabus. So, we have done a basic videos to understand all the chapters of class 10 science. We have done three parts. Part one is on chemistry chapters, all the basics of chemistry topics you will find. And part two will have biology basics and part three will have physics basics. If you can learn these basics, you will get 100% confidence in understanding all the concepts of class 10. Because in class 10 board examination, 20 to 30 percent of the question paper is application based where to answer those questions you should have 100 percent clarity on a concept if you want to have 100 percent clarity on a concept you should study the concept in depth along with the basics not only for the board examination sake if you are perfect with the concept you can crack any competitive examination in your future your confidence levels can be very much high but the thing is, this course is not for free and it is a paid course and uh, we have kept a very basic price for this just to, to make everyone convenient. See, the price for this course is just 199 rupees. The intention of keeping this paid course is just to, to have a seriousness among you and to us. Not only that, from past one year, we have spent uh, lots of energy and time invested lot of time in doing all these videos and the entire concepts of 10th science and mathematics is available for free in the channel so we are not forcing anyone to take up this course it is for those people who are interested and it is for those people who can spend 199 rupees for the course really you will get a strong foundation and uh, don't worry for the people who cannot afford 199. See, we have all the chapters in the channel with the minimum basics. We started with minimum basics. So this is for those who are seriously uh, willing to gain lots of basic knowledge, uh, to crack the competitive exams in future and to uh, face the 10th board examination with high challenge. If you want to know what I have told in the bridge course, here is a sample clips from the videos. You can observe and you will get one idea like what you are going to learn in a course. So thank you so much. What are they? K, L, M and N. And K shell has only one subshell that is yes subshell. L shell has Two subshells, what are they? S and P. M shell has three subshells, they are S, P, D. N shell has four subshells, they are S, P, D and F. Clear? Electronic configuration you will show 1S2, 2S2. Now 2P subshell you will show three electrons. It has a capacity of 6, no? So 2P, 3. C minus 2, sulfite symbol SO3, valency minus 2, nitrate uh, symbol NO3, valency minus 1. Just if I put minus 1 minus means it's minus 1. Uh, nitrite symbol NO2, valency minus 1. For Let us try to understand what biology chapters we are going to learn in class 10. First and foremost, very important chapters, maximum number of questions can come from this chapter. It is a quite lengthy chapter, but still very, very interesting chapter that is life processes. You know, as I already told you, 
each and every living organism's body is made up of crores and crores of cells right when same type of cells are present in the form of a group then that leads to so called tissue okay when so many of same type of cells are stain together uh, then it is called as tissue when many tissues combine together when same tissues combine you know we call it leads to organ okay so group food should break down and whatever nutrients are there in the food all of them should absorb in the body all of them should get passed into the blood okay this is the work this work is done collectively by these many organs okay so initially what happens food uh, enters into our body through mouth and brain is the manager in our body okay so whatever activity that has to takes place uh, will occur only when brain gives signal to a particular part see if this is a glass imagine the back side this side i will coat with silver i'll give a silver coating then you know this surface wherever the light rays come and strike you know better reflection you will observe and such a surface is called reflecting surface okay so light rays will not pass through the mirror and go out no because silver coating is there it will not uh, uh, allow light rays to pass through it okay so the entire light that is hitting onto a mirror everything gets reflected you know this is the symbol for switch okay so this is the symbol for switch and switch off this is what switch is off okay and uh, for the closed switch this is what the symbol and here switch is on okay so whenever a switch is on you will have a closed circuit you will have a closed circuit only in a closed circuit current flows current actually flows and whenever you have you see you you have broken the circuit right conducting wires would be there circuit is broken if this is the case so when the circuit is broken there is no current flow that means when the switch is off what does this means circuit is broken circuit is broken if circuit is broken no current flows no current flows okay so these are the basic symbols one must understand say for example with the symbols i will draw this is what we call what is this bulb we say it as bulb right see and uh, we have uh, something called battery 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 connected to if i write something like this what does this mean will will the bulb glow in this situation you see circuit is broken there is no continuous path electrons must continuously flow without any breaking right say switch off what is this it is switch off condition when the switch is off means circuit is broken electrons from here electrons always start flowing from negative terminal to positive terminal okay from this side electron starts and it will reach the positive terminal of a battery okay so what happens electrons flow from negative terminal negative to positive this is very very important to understand okay say in this case when electron start flowing from negative to positive uh, will it go and it will it reach to the bulb 